o'clock. Can we get all the house lights up? I want to be able to see everybody tonight. Or today. <laughs> Last night I could barely see anybody. You know, these lights are so bright up here, you can hardly see anybody. We want to take a good look at you today. Look at this. This is about, there's about uh, almost close to 5,000 people. This is one of the biggest training classes we've ever had in the history of America. <laughs> Unbelievable. How'd you guys like last night? <laughs> Subtle, wasn't it? <laughs> well, we got a lot to share with you over the next couple of days. Uh, we're very excited about what's going on, obviously. And um, last night was just the beginning of this weekend here. Uh, that's just going to be so much fun for all of you to partic partake in. Uh, we've got uh, so many different people that will be coming up in uh, training over this weekend that will be very, very exciting for each and every one of you. And uh, what I want to do here this morning is just kind of summarize the new plan that we've put into effect uh, and get you clear on what it is, and then it will be trained on throughout the uh, entire weekend. But there's no question in my mind, after you leave here today, Everything that you would ever want to know about building your business, step by step, is going to be taught here this weekend. Uh, you'll be hearing from a number of different people on how to, uh, you know, you'll learn uh, everything about the products, first of all. And then, of course, uh, we've got uh, a number of people that will be coming up and teaching you uh, about how to retail the products. And what's exciting, they'll be teaching you not only how to do it anywhere, any place, any time, uh, which is exciting. You're going to be able to meet a couple of uh, women who are going to be coming up here that have done, uh, one of them got 90 customers in the last month, and 300 customers uh, she has on an active basis. You're going to find out here this weekend. You're going to find out about how uh, some people retail the products long distance and actually get people uh, into the company, and not only get them in the company, but see how they develop those people on a worldwide basis as distributors. That should be exciting to everybody because everybody can sell the product, right? I mean, all of you have had an easy time doing that, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, from coming something that's simple like that, if you don't think you're a real good recruiter in the business, uh, then you're going to be really excited here this weekend because you're going to see how so many of them are getting it predominantly through the product. And when you can have a product that recruits distributors, now that is exciting, very exciting. <laughs> Imagine how so many other companies have to go through so much to try to get people involved in their companies and so on, and when we've got such a simple product line that will recruit people in the company, it's very exciting. We're going to hear from some distributors here this weekend on how they're recruiting. Uh, they're going, some of them are going to teach you on how they're recruiting through their customers. Some of them are going to teach you how they recruit just anywhere, anytime, but we're also going to be teaching you how people have gotten people right here locally and then asked for referrals and have gotten distributors in Italy and Spain and New York and cross-sponsored over to Israel and built a real international business. So you're going to be getting that. We're going to be teaching you about how to promote your business also from every uh, single level. It was real interesting uh, that to watch some of the girls that came up here that are, that are going to come up here and talk about the retail that now, as they got their business going, through just promoting it a little bit, about, uh, I think they said 30, 40% of their business now is just referrals that keep coming in. They have a hard time even catching up with what's coming at them and so on. So we're going to teach you how to promote the retail. We're going to show you how to promote the recruiting. We're going to show you how to promote the business on a worldwide basis. And we're certainly going to show you how you can effectively start from right where you are here today and really build some serious momentum between now and the end of the month so that you'll capitalize on the 46 cities that are coming up in the 20th of next month, which I, I'm telling you, some of you will gain more momentum in the next three weeks than most of you have gained in momentum in the last three and four months if you will take what we present to you here this morning listen to the training classes on how they take what I'm going to show you and utilize it in the system and be able to take what we're going to do in the next three weeks 
to capitalize on the supervisor schools that will be going all over the world that you'll be able to build a worldwide organization with. And that is going to be truly exciting. There's no reason why each and every one of you, if you really get clear on what we're talking about here today, will not only move. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I must have, um, there's, you know, there's a little uh, tail thing here that comes on the, uh, the microphone here along with the things. So I must have sat on it or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll never forget, I swear to you, I'm doing this meeting in Chicago one time. And uh, <laughs> I've never been mic'd up like, you know, normally, you know, they, they have these little uh, box deals here, you know, and you have to wire the thing up underneath the, you know, uh, the, you know the, the, the thing there. And uh, I, was, <laughs> I was doing this, this big meeting in Chicago. It's a very important meeting, right? And for some reason, they had this microphone there where you had to install it here, and it was a cord that ran down, and then it plugged in at the bottom and ran uh, back to where I was coming in. So I'm coming in like I did here, right? And I'm boogieing, getting to this deal, and I come around the step. I mean, here's, here's the podium, right? And I get right to about here, and it went, eh! <laughs> I mean, you know, whoa! <laughs> and I had a very similar sound like I had a little bit ago. That's what um, reminded me of that. But anyway, you know, as I, as I uh, talk to you here today, it's real important, too, to just... Uh, get past uh, listening to me as the president of the company. You know, I'm, I'm a distributor. Uh, I started out like every single person in the room, uh, other than the fact that there was no one had lost weight, nobody had made any money in the company. And, uh, you know, I told you a couple of cute little stories last night and stuff like that. But, you know, the reality was I was very nervous about starting Herbalife. I was very scared. Uh, I was very nervous about, uh, you know, was I going to be able to make it? I, this was something that I truly wanted to do very badly. It was very important to me uh, because of personal circumstances to help people lose weight. It meant a tremendous amount to me. And I really was trying very hard in the beginning. And I've got to be honest with you, I wasn't getting much results in the very beginning. It was, it was difficult. A lot of people laughed at me uh, when I got started. It was, it was difficult when I went to my 15 best friends and uh, showed them how excited I was. And, you know, uh, maybe I was stupid or whatever, but I was excited about my baggie full of powder. Uh, you know, they, ha they couldn't visualize what the labels were like, but I saw what the vision was. I thought we were going to be able to do a good job and so on. And everybody laughed at me. They just thought it was a stupid idea, that I was never going to be able to make it. My family thought I was totally out of my mind. Uh, you know, I got one person in my family on the product, uh, which was my grandmother. She was the only one that would try it. And, of course, she lost 25 pounds. I finally got my co uh, cousin on the product the second month that we were in business. And, uh, and it, was, it was so sad what happened to him. He was 100 pounds overweight, got him to lose 25 pounds the first month, and I couldn't get him started again. And I was so discouraged about the fact that I couldn't get my cousin onto the product. I was so discouraged that he wasn't going to be able to take this instead of taking what he was taking. And he stayed fat like that for a long time. And, uh, you know, it was very discouraging to see that. And, and, and everybody was making fun of me back then. But uh, I finally got a few more people in the family on the products. And I'll tell you what got him on the products. Uh, after my granny lost weight on the product, uh, about two years later, my uncle finally went on the product and lost 40 pounds. Two years later, by the way. Uh, and that was predominantly because I kept sending them our journals every single month in the mail. They were on the mailing list, and they got the journals, and they saw the stories and so on. And finally uh, got him on the product. And then when he got on the product, my cousin got on the product and started losing weight. And so I had three people in my family on the product. And pretty soon I had four, and then I had five. And after 10 years, I had about uh, 11 or 12 people on the products. I'm now very, very excited to say 13 years, I've got 16 now of my family on the products. Isn't that cool? 16. God, I'm doing so good. This last year I scored big. I got three more. It was really good. <clears throat> the rest of my family's waiting for me to get a regular job. You know, and uh, a lot of them don't believe. They don't, they don't, they just can't comprehend what's going on here. They don't understand. Uh, you know, they all knew me 
Uh, from when I was young, you know, uh, some of you don't know my personal story. I only went to the ninth grade in school, uh, never did graduate high school. And, uh, you know, uh, I didn't have a real rosy background and so on. And, and, and most of my relatives just can't comprehend where I was and what I started and what this has become. You know, they just, they just don't get it. And uh, so I feel fortunate that, you know, I, I kept trying every single day. And pretty soon I had a few customers, and pretty, few, pretty soon I had a few distributors that believed in me, like Jerry Svetanovich was such an inspiration to me back then. Because remember, you know, as I was signing up people, they were dropping out like flies on me. I, I, I signed up 169 first-line distributors in the first, uh, 196 distributors in the first six months, and at the end of that I only had 16 supervisors. And, uh, I mean, they were coming in and saying, don't worry about ever signing up anybody again because you'll be able to retire off me alone. And uh, that was the last time I saw them, you know what I'm saying? I'd call them up, their phone was disconnected, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, it was a total tragedy. But Jerry would get me excited because, you know, she'd come in and buy $100 worth of product. God, what a great day that was, man. I mean, you know, $100 worth of stuff, I made $25. All right. I mean, do you understand? There was a time when $25 at a time was what was getting me excited. Do you understand that? Just like you, you get that little bitty yes that gets you excited. And I think what got me more excited, or at least kept me excited, was excess. Doing as, I mean, just pouring it on, doing everything I possibly could. I mean, we did, you guys would never do the kind of stuff we did to retail these products. I mean, we approached anybody, any place. It was just unbelievable. I mean, uh, anything to try to sell the products and get it moving and stuff like that. So when you listen to me here today, think of me as a distributor. You know, building customer by customer, distributor by distributor. And why do I have faith about getting to a billion dollars? It's, it's real simple. It's not much different doing a billion than a hundred million. There really isn't. I started out at zero, then we went to two million, then we went to ten million, then we went to a hundred million. And, and, you know, the only difference between hitting from a hundred million to a billion is just doing the same things. We're going to do the same things to get there. We're going to keep using the products. We're going to keep getting people on the products. We're going to keep uh, uh, getting uh, people involved in the business and so on. And then we get, all we need is more people on the products, more people doing it, and we'll get to the billion. I mean, the only difference between a hundred million and a billion, I figure, is a zero. You know what I'm saying? It's just more of us getting out here and doing the job. But I want to... Uh, uh, introduce the new international success system to hear here this morning. It is very very exciting uh, It's going to no doubt Make your organization move faster than we've ever moved in our history uh, Since we've started it's very very exciting and here's the thing I want you to write down in your notes uh, when I start to explain the system to you First of all You're going to be making more money Now, hey, wait, 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 wait. Let's make one thing real clear here. When you're going to clap, clap with enthusiasm. Don't give me this little dish hand rag deal. Tell you more money and you give me a... Crazy, babe. God. I mean, let's get jacked up about the deal. I mean, I'm excited about this. I mean, you know, look at this. Mark Hughes, 13 years. After all these years, still wearing a button. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Ah. See me on the street, I'll stop you. Huh. This. Okay. The new success bill, the first thing, more money. Now here's what's important to understand about this system that we're going to describe to you here. First of all, momentum is something that's extremely important. And you need to understand when you don't have momentum, you normally do things that you wouldn't do when there's lots of momentum going on. Uh, when there's no momentum, you have to work harder to get your business going. You got to say a lot more about your business to get people interested. You got to try a lot harder in order to get someone interested. You got to tell them 10 times more about the products because the products are unknown. So they want to know about every single ingredient in the product. They need to know if it's safe and effective and so on. They want to know if it's going to hurt their grandmother and all that sort of thing. So when there's no momentum, you end up having to say a lot more about the product. You end up having to say a lot more about the plan because no one's making money in it. So you have to get down to every single detail about how the plan's going to work. 
You've got to convince them that the company is going to stay alive. You've got to tell them that the company's not going to go bankrupt. There's all these things that happen when you don't have momentum. But when momentum hits, for instance, when I got started, we always said use the products, wear the button, and talk to people. But after we said that, everybody said, yeah, but I want to know. I mean, let me tell you, the first couple of weeks, when I was only 23 years of age going out here and showing this stuff, they didn't know where this stuff was made or who the doctors were and who all the backup was. We had to go through every single ingredient. We had to show them textbook stuff. We had to go through every inch of the marketing plan. In other words, we had to be a lot better back in the beginning at our presentations, what we said, than once we had momentum. Because once people started making big money in the company and once so many people had lost weight, we started saying less about the products and saying, hey, you know, here's what the product is, and when they said, well, what's in it, say, well, what's in it is great, but let me, so, let me show you what's happened with the product, and we did what we did last night, and we let the results do the selling for the product, other than us trying to sell the product so much. When we got into the marketing plan in the beginning, we showed every single detail of it. Then, once we had people making $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, there was so much success, we just said the marketing plan is absolutely awesome. You get 50% when you're at, at supervisor. You get 555 on your three levels. Checks come in the mail. It's awesome. Uh, let's hear from the testimonials. And that's about as much as we said. And we just heard from the people telling their testimonials. And so what I'm saying is when momentum comes, it starts to be easier for doing the exact same job. How many of you have found that now that Thermogetics has been out for the last uh, seven, eight months, that it's easier selling it right this moment than it was back in May. Isn't it something? Okay, okay, wait a second, wait a second. We gotta get something straight. Whenever we clap, we clap with enthusiasm and excitement. Is it easier now? Okay, I want you to write something down in your notes. Very key point here, I learned this in the very beginning. When you get someone involved or you're talking to someone, okay, they're about 25% as excited about this as you are. So if you're going to be saying, I just said, you know, is it easier to sell than it was before? And you give us a, way to go, Mark. <laughs> you know, if you give one of those, I mean, imagine how your people that you're talking to, you know, uh, they're all in Geritol Junction. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Excitement. Excitement. Every time we clap, I mean, is it easier to sell now than it used to be? Yeah. There you go. Okay, we'll get you guys before the day, that, before we get done with you here. This is all, all, all future president's team members in this room here. There's this funny thing, huh? Help build a better world. That's our team. Don't forget. <laughs> yeah, yes, give her a hand too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do we have any more requests from this side? <laughs> when you get momentum going, okay, it's, it's really something. If you, if you were to roll a ball downhill, it starts out at one speed, doesn't it? And then it starts getting faster and faster and faster. And where is it going the fastest? At the bottom of the hill here. And that's what's happening with our company right now. The fact is, is people know the Herbalife name today, don't they? They respect the Herbalife name, you know what I'm saying? They know who we are. They know, they're starting to learn what thermogenics is. I was talking with some of the people that were handing out uh, a lot of flyers, and they said that they had one flyer that they were having a lot of problems with in the beginning because everybody in the town was doing the exact same flyer, and they thought it was diluting all their effects. And you know what started happening? Because everybody was doing the same flyer, and they started wearing their buttons that had the flyer on it, People started coming up to them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't even talk if I have one of these on. <laughs> but they started noticing that with their buttons on, people started coming up with them because they had seen the flyer once, twice, 10 times, 50 times, and they never called the number. Then they saw someone walking down the street that had a similar slogan on their button to the flyer. Guess what happened? They started getting stopped right on the street and saying, hey, uh, what is that stuff anyway? And they're starting getting sales free. 
Okay, and so what happens is when momentum starts happening to you, it's just uh, uh, absolutely awesome and so on. I can't tell you how many times I'm stopped when I'm just walking around from people that say, you know, uh, hey, aren't you that guy? I mean, you know, aren't you him? And I say, uh, yeah, I'm him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, let me tell you something. Awesome things are going to happen to you guys in this room. Things that you never expect, things that you never anticipated. You know, you, some of you stood on the stage last night, never anticipated that. You'll have people that'll want to meet you guys. You guys are going to become legends, I'm telling you. There'll be kings that'll want to invite you to their homes. There's prime ministers that are going to want to invite you guys to their homes and so on. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. You know, I never knew this kind of stuff was going to happen to me when I started the company back 13 years ago. And I was out here saying it was going to happen, it was going to happen, it's going to happen. By golly, we're going to make it happen. And let me tell you something, every single night I can remember I was praying it was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we all are when we start. We're wishing something's going to happen. We start trying to make something happen. And we do it every single day to the best of our ability. And by golly, a year goes by, two years goes by, where you put on the sweat and you put on the steam and you get discouraged and you get, you know, frustrated and you get tired. And sometimes it's very lonely being all alone where, you know, you can't get a hold of your sponsor sometimes and you're frustrated with your flyers that aren't working and your families that make fun of you. But by golly, it's worth going through the sweat. It's worth going through the pain. It's worth trying every single day. Because I'll tell you something, towards the end of the journey as you get to the tabulator team and you start getting to the millionaire team and you get to the president's team, you'll look back and you'll say, by golly, it was worth every single minute of it. <laughs>